welcome back to our course on scanning microscopy. In last few lectures, we have been discussing on scanning probe microscopic technique and in that now we are continuing on atomic force microscope. Uh, in the atomic force microscope, we have partly discussed on different uh, components, uh, particularly how the probe is uh, fabricated, uh, the cantilevers, props, etcetera has been fabricated. And today, uh, we will uh, discuss on uh, detection methods and the modes of AFM operation. In the modes of AFM operation, we will uh, discuss on three different modes, contact mode, non-contact mode, uh, intermittent contact mode or tapping mode and also we will discuss on constant force mode, constant height mode. Let us begin with uh, the uh, simplest uh, AFM uh, schematics here you see we have a sample and on which there is a AFM cantilevers which will scan over the surface and the deflection of the cantilevers has to be detected by uh, putting or by um, putting a laser beam on the back sides of the cantilever and the light laser light reflects to a position sensitive detector. So, in that detection mode there are uh, different uh, detection mode, uh, most of the time beam deflection uh, mode is used uh, and uh, in the beam deflection mode uh, as you see here a laser, uh, a laser beam is striking on the back side of the AFM cantilever and then it is deflecting back to a position sensitive detector. Now, as cantilever go up and down the beam position will go up and down in the position sensitive detector. So, with that we can measure uh, how much cantilever is bending upwards or downward and thereby knowing the uh, height of the sample or topography of the sample across the surface. And now, in this cases most cases the AFM back sides is coated with a, uh, anti uh, a reflective coatings either gold or aluminum. Uh, in case uh, it has AFM to be operated in a corrosive medium uh, such as um, KOH or NaOH uh, electrolyte or liquid medium, then it one must coat the back side of the cantilever uh, with a inert material such as gold. Otherwise, if it has to be operated in vacuum or uh, in the air, it can be uh, aluminum coating can work. Now, then, then after uh, the position sensitive detector uh, detects the position of the cantilever, it gives the information to the feedback electronics and feedback electronics will not the position of the cantilever or how much cantilever deflected upwards in the direction. And we have a, a stage motion in the x y direction, sample stage move will move in the x y direction uh, as you it, it will keep on moving in the x y direction at every places of the sample we scan particular region and get a surface topography. And the requirements for uh, this uh, deflection or detection uh, method uh, are that high sensitivity of the detection system in the sob Armstrong uh, region, because uh, the height is normally measured uh, in the AFM below 1 angstrom and it could because deflection of the AFM cantilever is in the angstrom region, angstrom range. Therefore, the detection system should allow the deflection system should allow the measurements in the sub angstrom region uh, regime. And also the measurement should not, measurement method, method should not disturb the uh, deflection itself and should not cause any other effect such as heating and it should be easy to operate with minimum calibration. Uh, we have uh, four different detection method, uh, the beam deflection method that you have seen which is most commonly used. We also have interferometry, in the interferometry the back side of the cantilever act as a light source and then light uh, the reflected light is split into two parts, split into two parts and these lights 
the split and light are passes through two different path lengths, they are passes through two different path lengths and then again the, they are recombined to produce an interference pattern and from the interference pattern we can know the difference of the path length and that is knowing the displacements of the cantilever or position of the cantilever. And it is a very high sensitive uh, uh, detection process, but the instrumentation is little complicated. Therefore, uh, not very commonly used in, in the AFM. Moreover, uh, here uh, the calibration is very accurate because uh, the positioning can be detected by changing the wavelength of the light that is reflected from the back sides of the uh, cantilever. So, in, uh, in the sense of the preciseness is concerned, accuracy is concerned, it is very high sensitive highly sensitive. On the other hand, instrumentation is complicated. Uh, we also have a piezo reg uh, resistance uh, detection method. In the piezo uh, resistance detection method, a, a piezo uh, resistive, a piezo resistive layer is coated on the a cantilever uh, surface, back side of the cantilever. And then, uh, this piezo resistive la uh, layer uh, will uh, uh, change its resistance when mechanical force is applied to the cantilever. So, the resistance of the piezo resistive layer depends on the mechanical stress and therefore, as the cantilever is deflected upward or downward, there is a mechanical stress on the piezo layer and thereby change in the resistance. By measuring the piezo resistance, one can measure how much the deflection is occurring. So, which are directly proportional to each other. So, it is one of the process to also measure the deflection of the cantilever, but here uh, signal to noise ratio is not uh, as excellent as that of like optical methods. Compared to optical methods, it, it has uh, it, it is not that high, uh, uh, it do not produce that high accuracy deflection measurements. Uh, we have a fourth kind of uh, detection method that is uh, piezoelectric, uh, piezoelectric method. In this uh, piezoelectric process, uh, there are uh, two electrodes, electrode 1 and electrode 2 and it is completely electrical, electrical process of measurements. Uh, it acts as a both sensor and actuator. Uh, to one of the electrode, uh, we apply the converse piezoelectric um, process we apply the variable voltage. When we apply the variable voltage that will undergo deformation uh, and then in other electrodes we sense the changes of the reflection. Particularly it is used in dynamic mode of atomic force microscopy measurement. Dynamic mode means when the cantilever is oscillated above the sample and in this process uh, this um, Piezo, converse piezoelectric effect by applying the variable voltage, uh, we can make the cantilever to oscillate above the surface of the sample and then we measure that the resulting uh, oscillation amplitude and frequency with other, other electrode. O with one electrode's variable voltage is applied to make the deformation to the cantilever and thereby oscillation etcetera. And in with other electrodes, we measure the resulting uh, oscillation and resulting amplitude. From those, one can know the position of the cantilever and thereby knowing the deflection by measuring the deflection. So, in this way, uh, uh, one can measure, it, these are the four different way one can detect the cantilever deflection in the atomic force microscopy uh, system. But as I uh, told, uh, the beam deflection method is most commonly used and most widely used in the atomic force microscopic technique to measure the deflection of the cantilever and thereby knowing the position of uh, position of the cantilever and that gives us the gap between the sample and the cantilever that is providing the topology of the sample surface. Then, as 
uh, you have seen in the schematic, we have a position sensitive detector to which uh, light or the laser beam falls. Uh, in, in the vertical moments of the tip, uh, in the vertical moment of the tip, the light will be moving upwards or uh, the laser beam will move in the upward z direction in the position sensitive detector and we can measure how much the how much upward or in z direction tip is deflected and thereby measuring the uh, distance between tip and sample. In other cases, if there is a uh, bending of the tip uh, which will cause the horizontal uh, movement of the tip and therefore, the light the reflected light on the position sensitive, sensitive detector will mop in the horizontal direction. And this horizontal moments, horizontal moments or bending of the tip occur due to torsion or frictional force or lateral force. And this is uh, all this is occur, um, this frictional force occur only when uh, the tip is in touch with, uh, tip is in the touch with the sample or tip sam uh, or sample on and FM tip uh, are in contact with each other. And this allows us, this will also allow us to measure the lateral force and frictional force of the sample surface by knowing the bending of the tip, how much bending occurs at which location thereby getting information about the frictional force on the surface of the sample. If we look at the primary modes of operation, there are three primary modes. Uh, one is contact mode. Contact mode, as the name suggests here, tip, the AFM prop, and sample are in contact with each other. They touch to each other, and therefore they have to be uh, closely spaced. The distance between tip or uh, nothing but prop and the sample in these cases is normally less than 0 0.5 nanometer, less than 0 0.5 nanometer separation between tip and sample. And when the tip and sample are very close to each other, then at that region there is a repulsive force. We have uh, discussed uh, the Linard John potential curve uh, in our last lecture. As you see uh, in this graph, the force versus uh, prop sample separation distance uh, concern, uh, the force is increased, the repulsive force increased uh, markedly when the tips and sample separation decreases. And in this region, this blue arrow region is the region where repulsive force predominates. And this happens when tip sample distance is close, very close, what I mentioned here, it is less than 0 0.5 nanometer. This is the contact mode. So, tip will be contacting the surface of the sample. Then we have another mode which is called non contact mode. Non contact mode is the mode where the tip and sample are little far, little away from each other, little away from each other, but there is an interaction, there is a interaction between the tip and sample and that is the, the region where attractive force predominates. Attractive force is the force when, when we, we have two objects very far away from each other, there is almost no interaction or negligible interaction or zero interaction. As we bring those two objects close to each other, then after a certain distance, they will first have a uh, attractive force predominating and, and that is the region when the tip samples are away that much of distance away from uh, this separation, we say con non contact mode where attractive force predominate. As you see here in the linear uh, force versus distant curve, this portion is our attractive force and this, this region is our non contact this region at which tip sample separation are measured or 
when the tip sample separation is in the attractive force region, then the measurement is called non contact mode of measurement. Then between this contact and non contact mode, in the middle portion, this is the region which is called uh, intermediate uh, or interminate uh, region when the tip goes from uh, attractive to repulsive region or almost where there is no force of interaction to the repulsive region when the tip goes, then we say it is a tapping mode. In the tapping mode, tip as you see here, tip is going close to the sample that means it is going to the repulsive force region of the sample and then it is going back upward where there is no force between the uh, tip and sample and when this tip goes backward and um, uh, forward and backward above the sample then we say it is intermittent contact or tapping mode of measurement and here uh, in the non contact mode is when a uh, tip sample uh, are far away from each other not far away means it is uh, about uh, more than 2 nanometer and where attractive force predominates. Going detail uh, going little more uh, we can also uh, uh, differentiate these modes with two different uh, um, two different categories uh, that is called static atomic force microscopic measurement and another is called dynamic uh, atomic force microscopic measurements. So, when uh, when the probe scans over the sample with oscillation, when the probe will, will be oscillating above the sample during the measurement, it is called dynamic mode of measurements. If uh, the probe is not having an oscillation, then we say it is a static mode of uh, measurements and as in case of contact mode the tip is in touch with the sample and it is not oscillating therefore it is called static mode of uh, measurements or static AFM. On the other hand uh, non contact mode and intermittent contact mode where the tip will be oscillating above the sample as it is oscillating as it oscillates above the sample then we say it is a dynamic mode of operation and non contact mode can have dynamic can have static also in some cases static measurement is done, but mostly it is done with a dynamic mode of uh, process. If we go to discuss little more about contact mode, a uh, contact mode is operated in the repulsive regime of the force distance curve and it is also called static mode as tip does not oscillate above the sample and the sample is scanned in the x y direction and when the tip sample gap is small cantilever will sense the force and we can measure that force and use that force for the imaging purpose. And one of the important criteria for the contact mode of measurement is that the spring constant or force constants of the cantilever should be less than the sample for surface. So, only when the spring constant of the cantilever is small, then only it will make deflection or it will bend properly to give us the deflection of the cantilever that is telling us how much deflection occurs and the height of the uh, height or topography of the sample. If uh, that means, it is supposed to be a small spring constant that, in, that is in the range of less than 1 Newton per meter small spring constant. So, that it should be deflected by the small force and also enough resonance frequencies not to be susceptible to the vibrational stability instabilities. Because when the spring constant is small automatically the resonance frequency also gets smaller because resonance frequency is also directly proportional to the spring constant, but that the probe should have enough uh, vibrational uh, enough resonance frequency such that it should not be highly susceptible to vibrational instability. This is the requirements for contact mode of measurement and the contact mode of measurements is done uh, again under two um, uh, process one is constant height mode and another is constant force mode. In the constant height mode the tip is kept 
at a fixed height, tip is kept at a fixed height and sample is scanned in the x y direction. As sample is scanned in the x y direction, uh, as sample has roughness on its surface, uh, at some places the distance between tip and sample will be closer to each other, at some places tip and sample distance will be away from each other and therefore, uh, the force will keep on changing when uh, they, uh, they are uh, close to each other, tip sample close to each other and tip sample little away from each other, the force will no more remain same. By measuring the force, uh, by measuring the force and the force will be measured by the deflection of the cantilever. When the force is attractive force, tip will be, uh, the cantilever will go downwards and if there is a repulsive force, uh, the cantilever will go upward. So, we will know one can measure the deflection of the cantilever and thereby from the deflection one can measure the force and from that force we can uh, create an image by uh, uh, which is directly related to the uh, distribution of force across the surface of the sample. This is what constant height mode as you see here in the left side in the constant height mode the z is fixed the distance between tip sample initially put into a set value and then uh, sample is scanned in the x y direction and there will be deflection of the cantilever due to the change in the uh, distant uh, between tip and sample and from the deflection that z of the cantilever we can uh, measure the force and thereby plotting the distribution of force. In the constant force mode, in the constant force mode uh, the this f z f z is fixed and but sample is go up one downwards to measure a constant force. So, the deflection of the cantilever has to be kept constant. In the constant force mode deflection of the cantilever remains to be fixed and in order to maintain that constant deflection uh, the sample has to go upward or downward while going in the x y direction so that we can measure the constant uh, deflection and as sample go upward and downwards we can measure the height of the sample. So, the same graph similar graph you can get by plotting the z versus x in this cases the height of the sample versus distance in the x, x and y direction. So, constant force mode provides same cantilever bending and that is the interaction force the force to be kept constant that is why it is constant force and to keep the interaction force constant the feedback system changes the voltage applied to the z scanner so, z feedback is on here z feedback is on and the change in the voltage because feedback is given with a piezo materials here with the which is on the sample stage and the change in voltage is proportional to the substrate uh, surface topography. In this way we can measure the surface topography or 3D uh, image of the sample by using constant force mode. So, both the process uh, give us 3D image uh, same 3D image one can do by constant force mode, one can do by constant height mode. Uh, if we look at the advantage and disadvantages, this contact force contact mode of AFM allows uh, a faster scanning, a quite uh, it is very high resolution because here tip is touching directly to the sample therefore, it gives the maximum resolution among other modes uh, of measurements in AFM. And but it is good for smooth sample. If the sample is not uh, very smooth, then possibilities of tip scratching the uh, sample surface and the tip being get damaged is high. So, in order to uh, uh, in order to avoid those, in order to avoid those, uh, one either has not to use contact mode or one has can only use the hard sample because soft sample have more prone to get damaged. So, soft sample are not prepared to be measured by contact mode because the contact in the contact mode uh, the tip may damage the surface of the sample. Moreover, uh, as the tip is touching the sample surface 
therefore, we can measure the frictional force, lateral force of the sample surface that we cannot measure by other model like when deep sample are not in touch with each other. Uh, disadvantages force can damage the soft sample, presence of uh, lateral force can also distort the image. Now, uh, you will see later how it can distort the image. As per the application of the contact mode of AFM is concerned, uh, certainly we can get surface topography with a resolution uh, 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 lateral resolution. This is a lateral resolution better than uh, 1 nanometer and vertical resolution is greater than vertical resolution it will be around 0 0.01 nanometer. Uh, vertical resolution all is always higher in atomic force microscopy and in uh, here we can directly determine the step height or thickness of the monolayer uh, if it is a 2D material like that. So, note that in other microscopic techniques such as optical uh, scanning electron microscope, heliomine microscope do not provide the step height quantitatively. So, in all other cases uh, if there is a step indeed, uh, indeed we will know there is a step here, but we cannot uh, actu actually measure the height of this uh, height of these steps by other microscopic technique. Here is this uh, image of uh, contact mode AFM uh, image uh, of a uh, rhodocin uh, uh, biomolecule. Uh, this uh, this rhodocin molecule is present uh, in our eye to detect the dim light. As you see, the biomolecules can be directly imaged by the contact mode AFM image, and the resolution is quite good. Uh, in other microscopic technique. Uh, direct measurements, uh, direct um, um, topology measurement or surface morphology measurements by uh, uh, of the biomolecule is uh, not that simple uh, and cannot be measured directly. Here is a another example how uh, this contact mode helps in measuring the step heights. Uh, these are the clusters of uh, antimony, antimony island antimony particle clusters on the MOS2 surface in the left side image and in the B image uh, you see a, a single zoom zoom up um, clusters uh, and uh, in the C you see here the height versus uh, uh, height curve or Z curve uh, it telling about the height of uh, these clusters which is approximately 25 uh, nanometer in these cases. Uh, accurately providing the height of these clusters um, on the surface which cannot be measured by the other microscopic technique including optical and electron microscopic technique. Uh, if we uh, the contact mode of measurements goes with uh, static AFM, if we talk about the uh, parameters that are involved with uh, dynamic atomic force microscope, uh, there are several uh, parameters that involves uh, particularly uh, like uh, uh, this dynamic mode of AFM is used in non-contact mode and topic mode of AFM and there uh, this dynamic mode of operation involves several parameters that includes, uh, that includes uh, resonance frequency force constant of the cantilever and these two parameters as related to the cantilever, resonance frequency of the cantilever and force constant of the cantilever. The quality factor of the cantilever it depends on the cantilever materials and also the environment. The driving amplitude it is drive given, the oscillation amplitude is measured, driving frequency can be given, the phase difference between the driving and oscillation can be measured and the frequency shift of the resonance shift relative to this, this sample interaction can also change. So, these are the important uh, parameters of the uh, dynamic uh, atomic force microscope which is used for non-contact mode and uh, intermittent or tapping mode of AFM. So, we will discuss this in our next lecture. So, in conclusion uh, the beam deflection uh, method of uh, detection beam uh, deflection uh, detection method is most common in AFM uh, to uh, measure the cantilever deflection. And in the contact mode of operation uh, 
the deep sample faults can be measured via the deflection of the cantilever. Uh, it can be done by constant height mode or constant force mode and the contact mode of AFM operation allows to study the frictional faults including the lateral faults etcetera. And it is contact mode is uh, fast and provides very high resolution image. These are the reference. Thank you.